I am madly in love with Daphne du Maurier's writing. She is actually my favourite novelist. And nobody captures suspense quite like Hitchcock did. Needless to say, Rebecca is Daphne du Maurier's, I'd say her most famous work. Second would be Jamaica in third, My Cousin Rachel, in my opinion. Um, and I kind of just had to see this film. I love the novel and I, I've seen a couple of adaptations of it, but they never really live up to the novel. And while I will say this still doesn't quite capture the beauty of du Maurier's Rebecca, it is certainly the closest that I have seen. And it tells a story beautifully. It's very well received, 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb, multi Oscar winning. It won Best Picture. It also won Best Cinematography, Black and White. And I completely see why. The lighting is gorgeous, the shots are beautiful. It's so very well produced. It's, the direction is lovely. It's just absolutely spot on in terms of atmosphere. I will say it, it's two hours, 10 minutes, and there are some bits that I think they could have cut out. Um, it does seem to replicate a lot of the novel and you know usually with an adaptation you can truncate bits of it here and there but aside from that I think it, it flows really nicely if you're unaware of what this story is basically this young girl who we only ever know as Mrs de Winter the second Mrs de Winter she marries Max and de Winter and becomes Mrs de Winter but there is his ex-wife Rebecca de Winter hanging over their marriage. She died, everything's melancholic. <laughs> Mrs. Danvers is very much still <sighs> worshipping the ground that Rebecca ever walked on. And it makes life very, very difficult for Mrs. De Winter. And Maxim De Winter is also carrying his own emotional burdens. And it's just all about how much it basically just makes their marriage impossible. And there's this constant threat looming over them, kind of Rebecca's memory and things unfold pretty pretty quickly once it gets going actually and it's just so suspenseful and it's unusual not unheard of but unusual that the threat is invisible rebecca's memory is in all of the shadows of, of, of manderley and you can feel her presence constantly and that's beautiful it can't be easy to make a character present at all times when they're not actually in it. I think it's beautifully done, really exquisitely done. Definitely captures a lot of the tension in De Maurier's Rebecca. Olivier is Maxim de Winter is, well, what more could I ask for? He is absolutely brilliant. And Joan Fontaine is Mrs. de Winter. She, she felt a bit more mature than the Mrs. de Winter of Rebecca, the novel, of the novel version. But I felt she was otherwise pretty much, you know, she, she expressed how timid she was, how scared of Rebecca's memory she was, but also how annoyed she was by it. Because she just wants to get on as her new duty as Mrs. De Winter. Brilliantly cast. Love the representation of the characters. Mrs. Danvers is played by Judith Anderson. Absolutely brilliant. Chilling performance. I can't fault this. It really is as amazing as everybody says it was. I kind of feel like if you haven't read Rebecca, please do before you watch this. You absolutely should read it first because it's far superior because it's it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. But if you wish to watch any adaptation, the 1940 Rebecca with Olivier and Fontaine, without question, Hitchcock's masterpiece, one of Hitchcock's several masterpieces, definitely one I'd recommend.